Hello everybody, this is Aaron from the Sibling Rivalry channel and today we're going to be leveling our KP3 like a machinist. <laughs> anything. Uh, so like I said before, we're going to be leveling this like a machinist. Now I'm not using a fancy expensive dial indicator here. Uh, that's what this thing is, if you're wondering, um, if you're not familiar with it, it's a dial indicator, which I used to work as a machinist, and you want to use a dial indicator or like a touch indicator to measure squareness and levelness uh, on a CNC or on a otherwise like any other sort of machining equipment like a mill or a lathe. Um, so I picked up one of these pretty cheap on Amazon. I actually never owned one at my old job. They just had them on hand that I could use. Um, it's a pretty straightforward process. So as you can see, there's a measurement on here and we press on this, the little arrow moves around. It doesn't really matter too much where, like how we have this set in this case, because we're just making sure that this bed is level to the rest of the system. And you can actually use this to kind of figure out if your X axis is leaning or your Y axis is leaning. But what we're going to be doing today is just squaring everything up, presuming that your X and Y are already relatively square to each other. So, uh, you don't really need power for this, but we've got the power hooked up just to be on the safe side. So I actually 3D printed this mount. Um, it's up on Thingiverse. It's meant for a CR10, but it is compatible with the KP3. I just used a bit of uh, foam tape or like adhesive foam to make it a little more snug on there so that I don't have to worry about it wiggling around. Um, as long as we don't move these things around too much, they should be good. Ideally, you do want this to be relatively tight and non-movable. So I am going to just kind of reposition myself here so that I can get everything in frame so you can see what I'm doing as I'm doing it. All right, so now that we've adjusted the camera so you can see what I'm seeing, we're just gonna go and lower this down until it's just touching. And what we wanna do first before we do anything is see, make sure that the bed is touching all across the board. Oh, something's catching here. It's a cable or something. What's going on there? Oh. Okay, um, not too worried about that. You get the gist across pretty well. This actually has a little ball bearing on the end, so you don't have to worry about like friction adjusting anything. Um, okay, so this is our lowest point on the bed. So I'm gonna adjust that until it's just about zero. And you wanna do this fairly gingerly. So I'm just gonna, okay, yeah, that looks good. All right, so now, and there's actually mods you can do for this uh, to actually attach this directly in place of the hot end so that you get the carriage done. I'm just doing this quick and dirty, so I'm just doing it off of the, uh, the hot end baffle, I guess. So we know that that is at what we want it to be at. Now we're going to go over to this edge and we're going to adjust until and you want to kind of adjust and then go back just until it's about right and you're going to want to go back and forth a little bit to kind of get that whole thing. Okay, that Oh, a little too far. Let's go right there. Okay, so that looks good. 
Now we're going to go over here to this corner and we're going to adjust that to get the same spot. It's always better to overshoot by a little bit and then just kind of work your way back and I'm just going to, because I'm looking at this with a bit of a parallax, just getting Val to kind of look at it so that looks good. Cool. All right, now we can go back here and do the same thing here. It's good. A little more this way. Okay. Now it's not. Nope. Is that good? Now it's under. Okay, so it's under, so then we want to loosen it off a little bit. Is that good? No? More? Right there. Right there? Okay, cool. All right, so that should be about it to start with, but we're going to go back because like a guitar or any other thing where you're there's a bunch of different springs in play um, or different tension acting on it. You want to go and do like a full circle and kind of go around and make sure that everything matches after you've already retightened it. So I can see that we've lost a little bit here. Does that look good to you? No? Tighter? Is that there? Okay, awesome. Yeah, normally. Like if the camera weren't here, I'd be sitting exactly where the camera is. So uh, we're going to go through this. Is that good? No more. Yeah. Okay. Perfecto. Only a tiny bit. Um, so that the needle goes towards you. Okay. That? Yep, perfect. Cool. All right, and we'll go back here. Now, same thing. Same it thing. You. Is that good? It didn't move. It's still not moving. It's actually, it is moving. Okay, it's going the wrong way. Okay. Way. Is that good? Yep, that's perfect. Okay. All right, so. That should be good now. I'll just do one quick pass over it again. Now, because I am only able to get about halfway with this mount, um, which is something I should have probably thought about beforehand, it's not gonna be perfect, but the front section here will be very level and it should relate backwards to here because in theory, all of this should be square. Um, now, obviously in some practices that may not be the case, but Oh, yeah, you lost some tension there, right? Yeah. Okay, that good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Move towards me, right? Yeah. Is there good? One more. One more. One more. Perfect. Okay. Is that good? More. More. Okay. All right. Now, what I'm going to do actually is turn this on and we're going to let this heat up. So, I've got Marlin running here. So, it's a little different from your stock stuff, but we're going to just heat up the bed. And I usually print around 60, so I'm going to set this to 60. And we're going to just check because the beds warp different ways under heat, so you want to make sure that it's also square under that. Um, squaring it beforehand should make things a little easier, but yeah, we still have to go in and do this under heat because that's actual parameters or like actual settings, so to speak. 
You can hear the MOSFETs going now, that high, high pitch squeal. So everything's switching on and off. Get the heat up. Bed's starting to go up in heat. And if we capture this right, you might actually see the arrow move as this heats up. So this might be a little boring for a second. Thankfully, the beds heat up pretty quick on the, these guys. there. Okay. There we go. We're at 60. That was fine? Okay. So, Val is telling me that that's good, so we're going to move this across here to that, and you can see that has shifted again. So, I'm going to say around there. Right there? Okay. Cool. I'm going to try and do this without touching the bed too much, because any thermal mass you take away can affect your results, so that needs to go towards me, right? It's fine. It's fine? There? Okay. And that was fine. Awesome. So, clearly I don't have a very warped bed, but now, if I take this off, which I'll just pop it off like that, and you can just see there's a bolt in there just to kind of hold everything together. Um, if we go to our leveling assist, we're now just going to have to adjust our Z. So let's go and it's been a little while since I've used the Marlin interface on here. It might take me a second. There's home offsets. Okay, yeah, I think I'm in the wrong spot. Okay. There's the level corners option. Okay, now we're just going to tweak this a little bit to get it a little closer. And I'm actually just going to go in here and we're just going to do homing with the Z. We want the home to be just a smidge above the build surface. And I'm just kind of looking at it from all different angles just to get a good view of everything. Okay. And just a little bit up. There we go. That looks to be about, uh, if I were to eyeball it, 0. Uh, 0.15 millimeters above the bed. So that's awesome. Yep. All right. And yeah, I'm just going to switch this off. Everything's good. Okay, so we have now leveled our printer. Hopefully this was informative to you guys. I know I did this with my artillery with a similar mount. 
um, and I've done this on this printer before and it's given me some pretty good results, you will still need to adjust your leveling every now and again because things drift, the springs kind of lose their tension or they expand. Um, that's just a fact of life, but we'll have a link for this in the description below. Um, like I said, you just need to do a bit of modification to get it to work perfectly on the KP3. I might modify it myself, and if I do that, I'll definitely be sure to link it either in the comments or in the description with an update. And yeah, that's it for now. If you guys found this video informative or liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate that. Um, if this is your first time watching our channel, uh, we do this sort of content and some other content. We do video games, tech, cooking, pretty much everything. So. Yeah, hopefully if you like this and like our other stuff, you'll subscribe and ring that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on our future content. And yeah, until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye for now.